The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. We have been discussing a few topics on sexual health and we have already discussed erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation and uh, night falls as well. Even low sperm count has been discussed in very details. Now a lot of questions have been asked in the live videos as well as usually in the comment section on pre-cum, pre-ejaculate. So that's why this video is important. Today we are going to discuss pre-ejaculate. So what is this pre-cum or pre-ejaculate? This is also called Cooper's fluid because there is a gland inside every male person, Cooper's gland, which actually produces a colorless, clear, vicious fluid which is uh, emitted out of the urethra just from the same path from where your semen or the urine comes and this occurs whenever a male person is sexually aroused whenever you are aroused pre-cum will come many most of the individuals will not even notice it right that it's it's coming out right its purpose its basic composition is similar to semen but it has some different uh, chemical distinctions but uh, yes there might be some few even dead sperms or live sperms or no sperms present in the pre-cum right but the basic objective it it's basically a lubricant and a acid neutralizer because it actually uh, functions to actually neutralize the acidity of the vagina as well as the urethra if if you have just passed urine before you know before intercourse then this pre cum or pre ejaculate will actually clear the remnant urine as well as make the path make the urethra a little more uh, alkaline so that sperms can survive in the urethra as well as in the vagina vagina is normally ex acidic and pre cum actually makes the vagina little alkaline right so that's one function obviously lubrication another function during sexual intercourse as well as for the sperms to go out lubrication is needed that is again also it has a role in semen coagulation it also plays a role in that so that's the idea why you have a pre-cum right so every time you are aroused every time you masturbate every time you do a foreplay in all or actually early stages of uh, sexual intercourse you will have a pre-cum it's normal most people don't notice it some of you may notice it and get worried nothing to worry about it's absolutely normal and it is supposed to happen there is something called a scoopers gland bulbo urethral gland inside you which actually secretes it nothing to worry and the amount varies some of them by some of you might just produce a few drops some of you might produce a full teaspoon full of uh, that kind of uh, stuff nothing to worry about it right it's just uh, something semen with some acid phosphatase or something like that nothing to worry Right. The second point is uh, there might be some amount of sperms produced there. So sperms present. So can you actually get pregnant because of pre-cum is a totally different thing. Although it's very unlikely, very rare, but it's possible. It's possible to get pregnant by a pre-cum itself without actual ejaculation. So yes, that is there. Overproduction of this pre-cum has been reported in many cases, many individuals because sometimes if you get aroused, some of the men actually are seen uh, with, uh, with stains on their pants. So that is again because of pre-cum, right? So in that case, in this kind of an embarrassing or irritable situations, there are some things which can be done like 5-alpha uh, reductase inhibitors can be given to actually reduce the DHT in your body which will actually reduce your little bit of sexual arousal basically phenastride and similar drugs are used so this is the basic about 
pre cum there is nothing wrong there is no infection don't have to worry about it all right and you do not get weak because of it so this is all about pre cum hope you understood the concept hope you like the video do share the video there is nothing to be ashamed about discussing sexual health openly so make sure to watch all the topics which i have mentioned in the first part of the video and share the videos this is dr paramjeet and i'll see you tomorrow take care stay connected and stay healthy